All right, we are on the draw in match five of this league with Rug Delver. This hand, I don't know, it's really slow. It's pretty good against aggro with the Bolt and the Snapcaster Mage. Denial's not the worst, but I think this is worth mulliganing. I like this better. Visions to the top means we get to go turn one Visions, if applicable. Otherwise, we hold up Scour and Bolt. Affinity... Not necessarily. Dark Steel. Dark Steel. Springleaf Drum pretty much confirms affinity, though. Into another Springleaf Drum. That shouldn't be too scary. Um, do I want to hold up Lightning Bolt? It probably doesn't matter all that much on this turn. Because, well, we could take this out. But there's a pretty good chance they have access to either another creature or another land. So I don't think you want to bolt that... Memnite? Yeah, Memnite. I almost called it Meta Knight, which, uh, not quite the same thing. Don't really want the Denial. Do want the Bolt. There's the Ravager, and that's why holding up the Bolt here wasn't that relevant. Second Ravager. All right. So what we're going to do is probably just hold up Thought Scour because Lightning Bolt is pretty easily going to be blown out here. I think I want to try to find another red source and or just be able to cast more spells. If we go for one Lightning Bolt, they're going to deal with it easily. Maybe if we have access to two, we could cobble something together. The second Ravager makes that basically impossible, but we're still going to try. Boy, are we dead. All right. So what chance do we have right now? I do believe we're just straight up dead. I don't think we could stack our deck and have them draw literally nothing but, I don't know, regular playing cards. And I don't think we could win. We have to give them some kind of library or they'll lose on their draw step. But I'm pretty sure if they just skipped every draw step from now on, and we got to pick exactly what we wanted, we'd still be dead. We're not going to bolt any of these, because that results in us taking even more damage. Maybe we do? I think it's the same amount of damage, to be quite frank. No blockers. Even if they sack one of these, they could just throw the counter over here. So it doesn't really matter, and they don't even lose the counter for sacking the Ravager to itself, because they can sack it to this Ravager and get the counter for the Modular and the counter for the Artifact being sacrificed. So we're taking 6 at least. They can make it 7-8. We can only cast the one removal spell. Maybe they play around Dismember. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... They can animate this by tapping this and this if they want to. So we could even take 10. <sighs> There's not a lot to be gained in scouring the opponent. I think I'm just going to bolt one of these. Make something happen. Scouring the opponent doesn't mean much because they're on affinity. They're not going to have many flex slots. Showing them the Lightning Bolt I don't think matters very much because we're playing a red deck. Chances are we have Lightning Bolts. We take 6, untap, Flooded Strand. I kind of want to play that just so that they think maybe we have white cards in the deck. Now we can Bolt plus Block with Snapcaster Mage. We can probably not die for a couple of turns. That's not going to mean much, though.
in terms of actually succeeding in this game, drawing that Flooded Strand was really good. Giving us a third land and another red source, quite nice. Blink Moth is going to come in. Anything we bulk just gets buffed by the Ravager, so I think we're going to scoop here. Yeah, I don't even want to show them that we have Thought Scour. All right, game two against Affinity. Let's do better. Artifact Hate coming in. Sweepers. Huntmaster. EE, I believe Basilisk Caller for some life gain. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What else? What I miss? Affinity, Artifact, Hate, Ceremonious Rejection. Nine cards, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I missed Spreading Seas. Turn off those man lands. Do I actually do that? I probably don't. I don't really like that. We'll see. I probably would rather have the one thought scour than the spreading seas i think it's not that bad it's kind of a two for one and at two mana that's pretty nice we'll see we're gonna cut mandrills we're going to cut i believe nux it is nux i was cutting three thought scours before because we need to interact not cantrip two leaks and two denials Actually, I'm kind of iffy on that. I know Affinity is fast, but Mana Leak's probably our best answer to Etch Champion. Actually, EE -E kills Etch Champion. I'm not sure if I ever noticed that. That's relevant. Let's bring these in. One card has to go. Dismember I like, Roast I like, Snapcaster Mage. Echoing Truth isn't fantastic. Is there a good reason to keep Echoing Truth? Does nothing against Manlands. I think we're going to cut Echoing Truth. Let's give it a go. Oh, I'll be on the play. You can bet. We're going to keep that. It's not the best hand, but we have all of our land drops. We get to snare their first two drop, play a goif, and hopefully have Huntmaster matter at some point. I decided to lead on the Misty in case they accelerate into a two drop with Mox Opal. That way we could snare that while at the same time having the option of just grabbing a Shockland tapped. No Mox Opal. Uh, we could have snared that, but I guess that's not really that important. Let's grab Breeding Pool tapped. Second Huntmaster. Okay. <clears throat> this hand has a very clear game plan. Now, my degree of certainty with whether or not that game plan is viable is uh, something we won't get into. Let's just counter that real quick. However... Going, turn one, nothing, turn two, snare, turn three, goif, turn four, huntmaster, turn five, huntmaster, isn't 100% dreadful. It's extraordinarily slow. But you know, it's something. Cranial Plating. Alright. That is going to turn Vault Scourge into a force to be reckoned with. That's a three turn clock. Bolt, not Bolt. That's offline, so I believe we're just going to cast Huntmaster. We are, of course, going to hit them for four because all of their creatures have flying. 
So let's do that. Play this guy. And we are going to top deck a lightning bolt. Oh, you know what? Having a blocker on the ground doesn't even matter because Huntmaster makes a wolf. Second cranial plating. We're dead. Oh? We're not dead. They don't have. Yes, we are. Cranial plating costs one mana. We are dead. Well, geez, that was fast. I don't think you mulligan that hand, but maybe you're supposed to look for some interaction? I'm not entirely sure. Anyways, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video, and I hope to see you in the next one.